Hello there guys and welcome to part 2 of our uh, Fahrenheit to Celsius, cal to uh, Celsius calculator so let's go ahead and get started if you don't have this code you should probably watch part 1 so alright so in this tutorial we're gonna go ahead and implement the action listener class and make our calculator function so let's go ahead and waste no time and let's go ahead and get started alright so let's go outside our protected class here what we want to do we're going to create a new protected class this is this is a subclass of the converter class so I'm going to call this event handler and this one is going to implement so we're going to type implements action listener again if you haven't we're going to go over our code at the end once we finish typing it but if you haven't watched any of the Java series, uh, the series of tutorials, you should probably watch some. It will actually help you a lot because we did go over, over action listeners. So, all right. Anyways, next we're gonna go ahead and have a method in here called public void action performed, and then parentheses action event ev for standing for event, but you can put anything like it doesn't have to be ev. Next, we're gonna have an if statement inside. I'm gonna we have to say ev that get source equals convert and open bracket close bracket. Let's go in here. All right, inside here, I'm gonna create a double variable called the result. I'm gonna set that equal to. This is the formula for converting from degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. So it's five divided by nine I'm treating this as double value so and also what we're gonna go ahead here this is a little bit tricky you gotta type double dot parse int parse double sorry and then inside we have to type text field dot get text alright and then we have to do that minus 32 there we go alright so this is that that's our conversion our main calculation then what we want to do is we want to display the results so we're going to head and type Celsius that oh I spell Celsius wrong sorry Celsius that set text and we're going to type double that two string and then inside of that our result so okay so that's our action listener here that, that we just implemented then we need to go inside our panel class here and what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, we're going to go ahead and add an action listener so let's go ahead and add, we're going to type cell, uh, convert this is convert is for our button convert button so I spelled the wrong I'm sorry that add the action listener alright so I'm just all right, that add action listener and then inside of that we're going to type a new and we're going to call the one the class that we just called so we're going to it's called event handler and then there we go alright so we basically have implemented and made our calculator function properly alright so let's go ahead and build it and test it and then we can go ahead and go over the code that we just wrote alright so now let me go ahead and let's say outside is uh, uh, 95 degrees how much is under celsius if I hit convert it should tell me and it says it's 35 degrees celsius let's say I put 125.65 it should tell me also it's 52 point blah 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 you can also fix this but in this tutorial is not about you know formatting the numbers or anything also if the user enters a, a letter or something we, we do not have any basically um, we do not add any uh, try and catch statements or handlers so if he if the user hits convert he won't see anything but we are actually getting errors so if I go down here in the comps let me go down here so if I hit the convert my this program might actually crash because we do not have the try and catch statements or the event handlers so 
uh, but that is actually a little bit more advanced so for this tutorial just make sure that the user enters a, a number value and converts it and then you will actually find the right temperature so let's enter 55 let's say 55 degrees that would be 12 degrees celsius all right so let's go over our code quickly down here let me get rid of this all right so we created a new class called event handler, handler and implements the action listener it's only implementing the action listener so we can use the methods uh, located inside this um, this basically interface the action listener interface so one of the methods located inside the action listener interface is the action performed action event method so we're taking advantage of this and we're actually in we're using the if statement here to check the ev that gets source is basically checking if the button that was clicked is the convert button and if that is true what is doing here we have a double variable result and this is our formula but what we're doing here double dot parse double dot text field that we get text all it is doing is getting the text from the text field which is a string and then it's converting that to a double and then so because we need that to we need, we need to convert that in order to perform a mathematical calculations and then down here we're, we're basically calling our label and we're, we're resetting its text to be our result and down inside of here we're we're converting our double value back to a string and then displaying it to the user and then inside our panel class up here all we're doing is basically telling the convert we're adding the action listener to the convert button and then we're setting it um, so once it's clicked it will actually call our class here the invent handler and basically perform all these um, operations we told it to do alright so that was our that was part two I hope you guys like this tutorial and if you have any other tutorials in mind please uh, tell us leave comments or send me messages and I'll be more than glad to, to make a tutorial about whatever you tell me anyways I hope you like this video please subscribe to my channel please subscribe and please check out all my other videos and all the series of tutorials uh, I promise you guys will like it and please leave comments and don't forget to subscribe thank you